Hi and welcome to another edition of Buzzing About Town. I'm Trevor and today I am down here in the heart of Soibacow at the one and only Witherspoons where I'm going to be joining the manager Dean and we're going to be talking about all they have to offer here at this fantastic location. Let's go inside and let's take a look at what Witherspoons is all about. So here I am inside Witherspoons itself and I've got to say what a fantastic place this really is. Uh, joining me on today's show is Dean, the manager. Dean, thank you for inviting us. Thanks for coming to see us today. I mean, I've got to say, right, I'm sat here, I feel like I'm in a London boozer. I've got my pint of Guinness, my newspaper, my Walker's Chris, my pork pies, the whole lot. It's all going on. I mean, what a fantastic idea. Yeah, we're just trying to make it more like an English, traditional English pub. We want people to come down here, relax. They can come during the day and read the newspapers. Yeah. We've got the Daily oh, we got the Daily Star, I think, the Sun, the Daily Mail, yeah. the Racing Post. We've got four or five different newspapers for people to come and read. Yeah. They, so the, the pint of Guinness is what probably our most popular yeah. drink at the moment. I mean, it sounds fantastic. I mean, I've got to say, I really do love I mean, it's a lovely, lovely place you have here. I mean, tell me, how long have you been here? I've been here quite a while now. I've actually been in Patia now for 15 years, so right. I've... So you've yeah. seen a few changes yeah, then? seen a few changes, especially on Cyber Cow, 14, 15 years ago. It was just like, well, wooden shacks along across yeah. the road there. Yeah. So, yeah, it's changed a lot. It's got a lot busier. So before Cyber Cow, before Patio, where were you? A uh, place called Charlton in South London. I know Charlton very well. There you go. See, I know exactly where you are, just over there. But good football team. Do you follow football? I do follow them, but they're having a bit of a bad patch at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. I mean, listen, hey, guys, if you like football, then this is one of the places to be. You're right smack bang in the centre of all the action. And I'm looking around the, the bar here. I mean, how many TVs do you have? At the moment, we've got 23 TVs. We try and show every different sport we can, like during the day. If you if you want to watch Sky Sports News, we've got Sky Sports News on. If you just want to watch the news, we've got news on. I try, when there's nothing major going on, I try and do a different sport on each TV so yeah. you don't get bored with the same sport. So, so I'm so coming in here today and I'm thinking, right, it's the Premier League. I want to watch my game of football. I mean, you've got some massive TVs over there. I mean, how big is the TV that we're looking at over on the far side there? That one's 70 inch at the moment and we've got another one, another two at 65 inch. And hopefully next month we're going to have a huge projector screen put up over that over that side. I mean, that sounds fantastic. So there we are. We've got the 70-inch screen up there on the wall. I'm taking it, obviously, I mean, which team will get preference over I'm guessing it has to be Arsenal, right? <laughs> Depends who's playing. It's usually the main game. No, you're not, you're not hearing me. Uh, Dean, listen, you're not hearing me, right? OK, so it has to be Arsenal, right? Arsenal will be on one of the tellies. There you go. See, I just easily sold him that. He just he doesn't believe it for a million years, but he's going to go with Arsenal. But no, all jokes aside, I mean, obviously you've got so many TVs. Do you screen all of the Premier League games? We show every Premier League game. Uh, usually there's a game on early game, so that gets the sound. Then the main game, I can do the sound on the TV inside. I'll do another game on the outside with sound. And uh, Saturday, usually, at the back, we have Rangers. We show all the Rangers games. So you cover Sunday football as well, then? We, sh we cover every every football, Scottish football, cover it. You missed that. For all you Scottish people, I'm only joking. I wasn't, I wasn't being serious when I said Sunday league football. <laughs> I nearly got him in there. I mean, obviously, it's great for those of you that are sports fanatics that you want to come in and you want to watch what's going on. I mean, it's not just football, is it? I mean, I'm taking it you do all the boxing, the NFL, everything. Yeah, we show all the major boxing fights. The NFL on a Friday morning, Sunday uh, Sunday night, Monday morning, Tuesday morning. The NBA basketball. We've got quite a few Australian uh, people coming. So the NFL's, N NRL's, AFL. We you got the whole lot, really, haven't you? Yes. And what about uh, UFC? That's very popular. UFC's very popular now. So we show that the big ones on the Sunday morning. Basically, any sport you want to see, come and see me. 
and I'll do everything I can to show it. Oh, there you go. So you can't ask for any more than that, can you, really? I mean, it's fantastic. Loads and loads of screens here. And again, every single sport, if you want to see a sport, come and speak to Dean. Tell him what you want to watch, and we'll have our best opportunity here to see it on one of these massive screens. It really is great. And I'm guessing because of the time difference, I mean, obviously, we're over here. Are you open 24 hours? 24 hours. So the game's what starts tonight, or oh, this week now, 3 o'clock in the morning. We'll be showing them. Also, starting from this week, we're going to start showing repeats. So if you can't make it 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, look on our website, which we'll show later and let you know. You can uh, find out what the games we're going to show the next day. It'll be in the morning, hopefully, so you can come have some breakfast and watch the game you missed the night before. Oh, there you go. That's so how fantastic is that? So not only do you show the, the games as they happen, but if you are like me and you like to be tucked up under your duvet at two o'clock in the morning, unlike Megan, who loves to be out all night partying, but well, I'm not as, as young as her, so I can't do that. But if you do like to be tucked under your duvet at two o'clock in the morning, don't worry, you haven't missed anything. Just check out the website for the Witherspoons, which will be shown on the bottom of the screen. And then you can come in and find out what games are on and what games you can watch. So it really, really is great. Now, I have to say, looking around here, you have got a huge, huge range of draft beers, don't you? Yeah, we've got 12 different draft beers at the moment. Starting with Magnus, we've got Ho Garden Wheat, Ho Garden Reds, Heineken, Yestella, Guinness, which is very popular, yeah. Old Speckled Hen, and every month we do a different guest ale. This month it's Ruddles, uh, Tiger, the Cham Beer, Lefe Bran, and Foster's. So, so uh, shall I ask you an easier question? What beers don't you do? <laughs> there you go, see? He can't answer it because literally when you come in here, I mean, if you look over at the bar, you will see there is just an array of pumps ready to serve you some ice cold beer. And uh, it really does look fantastic. Yeah, we've got a cool room upstairs also, so the beer does come down cold. It's not coming warm and, and any problems, you just speak to me. Sure, and I, I mean obviously that's your draft beers. I mean, do you do a full range of bottle beers as well? Yeah, we do all the main bottle beers. We get some. We're gonna get some of your other European beers in. Budweiser be coming back soon. Yes, we, uh, well we do non-alcohol beer for the people who don't want a beer. Yeah, we do a big mixture. So there you go, you see. So not only do you come in here, I mean, we are surrounded by so many TV screens that are showing lots and lots of different sports. But you can also get yourself a, a choice of one of 12 draft beers, all of the bottle beers you would expect to find in a leading bar here in Patea. And to be fair to Dean, he really has got it sorted out and it really does look fantastic. Uh, I have to say, one of my favourites now, I know those of you watching that are from Blighty that are thinking, oh, I miss my home comforts, right in front of me, almost mouth-watering, a packets of walkers chris i mean they are just the business yeah they're very popular a little bit more what you pay in england but very popular and yeah but you know that's one of the things that i miss and i don't know the, those of you that are watching i don't know if you agree but one of the things i miss is being able to go into a bar have a pint and a packet of crisps i mean it's just it's so traditional english it does it works really well especially with a football late at night you're sitting there you're having a beer and the walkers chris are in front of you which, oh, yeah, pe people picking them up. And so, so which one are you? Are you a cheese and onion, a salt and vinegar? I'm a salt and vinegar man. Ah, <laughs> uh, see, uh, and you're from, you're from London, are you sure? Posh part, yeah, Charlton. Oh, posh, that's why you like salt and vinegar. See me, I'm a cheese and onion kind of lad, but obviously Dean, he likes his salt and vinegar. Uh, now, that isn't the end of your menu, is it? Now, I know you do have a comprehensive food menu. Yeah, we, we, we've got a big menu. Uh, at the moment, we're, we're going to change it a little bit. We're trying to do a bit more of the traditional pub grub. Uh, we do breakfast all day at the moment we do the Thai food for the Thai ladies and it's pretty popular with the Falangan foreigners the Thai food is very good uh, fish and chips your, your bangers and mash your spaghetti bolognese Indian curries so pretty much everything really isn't it yeah pretty much everything well I'll tell you what we are going to take a short break and when we come back the part I've been so looking forward to is on this menu here I don't know if you can see this but we have got scotch eggs which I can't remember the last time I had a scotch egg but I can't wait because I know it's not going to be too long and as well as that check this out here you've got a pork pie Branston pickle I mean how is that you know what I mean a pint a newspaper, a pork pie and Branston pickle. That is just fantastic. So we're going to take a short break. When we come back after the break, 
the table's going to be a massive all our traditional favorites that you just can't get anywhere you need to come here into witherspoons and check out this fantastic food here because it really is amazing and we're going to be back in just a short break so please don't go away So welcome back to Buzzing About Town. Uh, as you know, I'm here in Witherspoons with Dean, uh, the manager, and I've got to say, look at this. I mean, you're killing me, Dean. It looks impressive and it tastes good and all. And I mean, I'm not being funny. I mean, obviously, you know, you're the manager here. I mean, this is, this is your forte. This is what you're all about. I mean, it just looks amazing. Yeah, we're gonna, the last few months of thinking about changing to the more simpler stuff, but things that people miss back at home and the crusty rolls they're going really well yeah i mean i mean okay just looking at the the array of food in front of me we have scott i mean i can't believe i'm looking at a scotch egg i mean fantastic so we've got scotch egg here with the mango chutney i mean a perfect dish there we've got the pork pie with the branston pickle again i mean they're great english favorites aren't they yeah and they, everyone misses them it's things that people miss it's simple but it fills you up and it's an ideal it's pub like, snack, yeah, isn't it? It like, really it's an is. Ideal pub snack. It just brings you back to like, so being back at home in, in your local pub. Sort sure. Of yeah. I mean, for certain. Uh, I mean, now I'm in the Ploughmans. I mean, okay. I don't know whether the camera's going to get this in its in its completion because it's so big. But this Ploughmans. I mean, I'm looking at it now. We've got we've got beef. We've got ham. We've got uh, pork. We've got gherkins. We've got cheeses. Different cheeses. Eggs. Tomato a range of different breads some salad i mean it's just amazing yeah we, this is going to be new on the menu we've we've tried it for the last couple of weeks and it's very popular already so it, if i want to tuck into something like this how much is that going to set me back under 95 baht no sorry let me just say that again so if i want to eat all of this how much is that going to cost me it's going to cost you 195 baht well, I'm not being funny, right? If you want to come out, have a pint of beer, watch a load of different sports, and check out a traditional ploughman's dinner, this is the business. I mean, it's 195 baht. I'm not being funny. If you was to go out in town, you couldn't even buy the meat for that. I mean, that really is value for money. It is good value for money, and it fills you up. You, after that, you're, you're full up with, believe me. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks just so impressive, I have to say. Um, now, obviously, some people may not want to eat such a big dish, but they want a snack. I mean, some of these sandwiches here, I mean, the one that's really grabbing my attention is the beef with the onion and the mustard. I mean, another great favourite. Yeah, another great favourite. The cheese and onion is my favourite. You're sitting there, you're watching the football, and you just want something nice and easy. These are ready for you. Yeah, I mean, and I mean, look at it. I mean fresh produce the, the bread's lovely and fresh i mean everything i'm guessing about the delivery of the quality of the food is most important to you yeah every day we get the bread in for, uh, the bread comes in nice and fresh we we make them upstairs fresh so they come down fresh they're not laying there for for a long time yeah. you're getting it getting the stuff fresh yeah i mean and you know you can just see it for yourself here i mean it really is absolutely fantastic and i can't wait to tuck in and have in fact I'm actually going to try one of the scotch I haven't had a scotch egg for it and the funny thing about this is is everybody around here watching it's like I'm in a crocodile pool they're all looking at the food wanting to jump in and dive I and mean, there's a guy over there you can't see him just now but there's a guy over there he's almost like slobbering and thinking I really want to have some but unfortunately he can't but I can so I'm going to try this and uh mm. That is perfect. That's all you want. That really is absolutely perfect. Okay, now one of the things I want to ask you, Dean, is behind us here is an array of photos of very famous people. I mean, you must have what there over fifty. Yeah, it's at least fifty different photos there. Now, what I'd like to know is, if someone was to come in and to be able to stand here with you and look at the wall and name every single one. I mean, is there any kind of competition you've got going? Yeah, we can. We can encourage people to come in if, if they can sit here with me and go through them and not use their phone and blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah. yeah well, I mean, I've had a look and I reckon I could name about... Well, there's 10, 10 or 12 I don't know. Oh, there's a few more of that for me. <laughs> there's a bit before my time, but there's some 
there's some great photos here, yeah, definitely. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, it's certainly something when you come in here, I mean, you know, it's all well and good coming and watching the sports and drinking your beer and having this fantastic food. But it's also nice to have that sort of cosy, warm feeling, isn't it? Yeah, that's the thing we try it with a spoon, is get the atmosphere right. Uh, we, we, I just want people to come sit here, relax, read the papers, not get pestered. That's the biggest thing, not get pestered like other bars when you're yeah. going. Yeah. Come here, come with your family. Come with, your tie, come with your girlfriend, just relax and enjoy yourself. Yeah. And, I, and I think you've really captured that really, really well because, I mean, you know, you look around here, it is, it's, almost, it is, it's just like being back in a London boozer, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely changed over the last uh, period of time. It's, we've spent a lot of money doing the bar up and making it, that sort of feel atmosphere. Yeah. So people just want to come here and relax and want to... Do, and stay here, basically. Yeah, and, and it, you know, I can't stress enough when you do come here. I mean, it really is a beautiful, beautiful location. You're right smack in the bang in the middle of all of the action. So, you know, you really are in the central hub, aren't you? I mean, you can come here, you can watch your sports, you can have your food, you can have your beers. And if you really, really still have all more energy in you and you want to go wandering off, you've only got to go a matter of yards and you're, you're back in some different action, aren't you? Yes, yeah, it's, it's a great location. There's so many expats and uh, holiday makers around this area. It's, it's, it's brilliant. It's a great area. I like yeah. it. I like it. So there you go. You've heard it from Dean himself, the manager here at Witherspoons. I mean, it really is a fantastic location. And I really hope you've enjoyed today's show. And I just want you to remember, if you want to come and watch the sports, any sports, it doesn't matter what it is, come and speak to Dean. There's so many TVs here that you can watch. I mean, you've got the big 70-inch TV over there, which will be obviously for all the Arsenal games. So if you are an Arsenal fan, come on down. This is the place to watch the Arsenal game. It's on the big 70-inch TV. Uh, remember, if you want a snack, I mean, your Walker's Crisps, you've got all your pub favourites. You know, it really is all your pub favourites. Beautiful food here. I mean, look at these, these sandwiches, these rolls. I mean, they really are absolutely top top quality and of course you've got the added bonus of there's 12 draft beers there for you to choose and also all of the imported and, and exported bottles of beer there that you can bring in and you can try as well so it really is a fantastic location now as much as i would love to stay and talk to you for a lot lot longer as you can see this food is in front of me i clearly don't eat lettuce all day long but i'm certainly going to eat the lettuce that's on here because it looks fabulous and i would just like to say thank you so much dean for inviting us here to witherspoons it's been an absolute pleasure being here thanks a lot for coming so remember look at the bottom of the screen now if you need to see the details their website is along the bottom of the screen go onto their website see what's happening remember if you've missed a tv show or you've missed a, a sports show it doesn't matter they will screen it again for you and the details of that will be on the bottom of the screen and you can find it on the website so you can see exactly what's going on well that's it from me today that's it from buzzing about town i'm going to go and tuck into this fantastic food i hope you've enjoyed today's show and remember stay tuned to buzzing tv and tomorrow we'll be back with another edition of buzzing about town thanks for watching bye bye